Please don't crash. Hey, there's balloon fight. Okay. <clears throat> Please do not crash. Please don't 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 do the thing you do that I don't like. Um. Okay, whatever. It worked. Okay, now I need to adjust the camera off. Which. Ah. Actually, I can go a little further down. Okay. Uh, I need to edit my scene quite a bit, so bear with me here, real quick, because this. Uh, This uh, this whole uh, streaming from the Wii thing is not something I'm used to. Plus, I'm streaming from a Wii U, which makes it even more just awkward because I'm streaming from Wii mode and can't see the water. <laughs> can't see the water. You can't see the fish. There. Everyone can see everything. It's not too off-centered. Everything's alive, right? You can see the, pretty much the whole water. That's the actual bottom of the screen. So if I do this... Is that good? That looks good. Okay, so let me refresh this real quick. Um, if you just joined, go ahead and hop in the chat room and say hi so I can acknowledge that people care. And we'll get this party started with some balloon trip. I need, a, I need some water. But everything should be good. I mean, it looks good on my end. You guys, can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear the game? That's more important. And if so, what is the volume of me compared to the game? Hi, women. How you doing? Super Balloon Fighter 2 Turbo. Sure, why not? Why not? But now, in, in lieu of today's really awful news. Um, we're going to play my favorite Iwata programmed game, Balloon Fight. You are louder than the game. You can barely hear the game, really. That's interesting. I haven't um, streamed from the Wii, the Wii in a little while, so but on top of that, it's in Wii mode. Oh, wait. You can barely hear the game because the game's not fucking doing any sound. Here, here. Um, there you go. How, how's that? How's that? Yeah, um, I, I was actually hoping you were going to stick around, Ben, because uh, how did things go when the news broke today at the Nintendo Lounge? And how's my volume now that the game is actually running? Oh, that fucker totally popped my balloon. How dare he? My revenge real quick while I wait for you guys. Got that that whole uh, delay issue going on. Oh, really? After the lounge closed tonight or last night? Because I found out about it tonight, like well before five o'clock. Like like I saw the news around like three or something. Oh, 
Oh no 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 you do. It's not you. Oh. That was a shame. But I have better control now that I got two balloons. So that's good. But we're not really here for balloon fights. Fight mode. We're here for balloon fights, balloon trip mode. But five on the nose is when it spread like wildfire. Wow. That's pretty intense. That's pretty intense. Oh, come on with the fucking browsers. I need to see the dashboard. Thank you. I need to see the chat room. Thank you. I don't give a shit about Twitch alerts, but I kind of need to see it. Fucking hell. Yeah, I woke up to it and it was just friends messaging me like, hey, so Iwata died, and I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> and like, I, I knew about his medical issues, so, like that's why he missed last E3, but not this year. This year, um, everyone was citing business things, like it was announced ahead of time or something. So, it's kind of weird. But, yeah. Anyway, Lumen, how, how's the volume now? Now that the game's actually running, how's the volume? Oh no, it's maybe one fighter. No! Yeah, yeah. Game volume is good. That is exactly what I wanted. I don't... I'm, I'm kind of having a bad hair day today, so bear with it. I went to the bar thing at the Comic-Con last night, and I was sweating up a storm in there. And there was a bunch of nerds in there, and it just smelled awful. And... Yeah, I kind of ruined my hair. I need to wash it. So... Bear with it. As oh, as I get killed. Okay. So I'm using. I'm playing on the Wii U gamepad in Wii mode, using a remote. Yeah, walking around the whole earlier of the day was just fine. It was when we stopped moving and got into that bar that everything got super hot, and the floor was super sticky, and it was really gross. It, that place was just really gross. Oh, you did? I didn't even know. I'm sorry. Fucking bird guys, man. I used to be so good at this game. And then I played Balloon Trip like crazy and playing the actual like game again, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Like not used to it. Not used to having AI attack me. No, it was already sticky. Jay was making a lot of messes, like from the minute we got there, and like there was stuff all over that bar where the Atari and the Coleco thing was. It was just really sticky, and it was just really gross. Yeah, Ben, how is it on a scale of zero to Dark Souls? Please, tell me. That was a really cool trick moves I just did. Did you notice that? It was it was totally like 360 no scoping. Last one, and 
I got him. Yeah, isn't it on like a, a Lux? It, it really is actually on a Lux system, isn't it? Like, uh, you pay for a ticket and then you get put in, your name gets thrown into a hat or something. And just kind of, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Either way, you're out your money. That sort of thing. That's what I've been told. And that's what the website seemed to imply. Ah, oh, he's gonna get eaten by the fish. Come on, come on. Yeah, you still really haven't explained to me how you got your E3 ticket either. <laughs> into the bonus round here, which is every four levels, I think, every three or four levels. Um, if you come in here with one balloon, then you will leave with two, if I remember right, if you get a 100% score on the, on the bonus. Not quite sure on that. You might end up leaving with two anyway, but it doesn't really matter because this game is never ending. It has an infinite amount of levels, and they just repeat after a while, so... That's why you do Balloon Trick, because it's a lot harder, and therefore a lot more rewarding when you get really good at it. Oh, so much. Really? How many extra tickets did you have? Because Adam went too, didn't he? right into me. Oh no no played it on uh, Animal Crossing eons ago. Me oldie 2002. And then I got an e-reader a little while later with the launch of the SP in 2003. And I, uh, I uh, played the hell out of it on the e-reader card. 
played this in bed, played it on road trips, got really good at it after a while, and my high score on the Animal Crossing version is still really high, but it's only um, from the one player mode, it's not from uh, Balloon Trip. I didn't learn Balloon Trip until recently, and so I'm fairly decent at Balloon Trip now. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> My favorite thing about this game, though, is that it's momentum-based. It's, it's really... Your B button makes your arms flap constantly when you, when you hold it, but the A button only flaps once per press. So, it's just used to control your descent and everything. When you have uh, one balloon, you actually control differently than when you have two balloons. You have less control and things a bit more loose and weird. And <laughs> it's uh, it's entirely momentum based. I really I really do enjoy it for that. Cause this game predates Mario and shit. Like this is before all that, and it had that sort of programming on it. So I always appreciated that, Mr. Iwata. That's the part I always like. Momentum-based game from 83 or some shit. Oh, man. But... But, 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 but... It's time for some balloon trip. So Balloon Trip is what they did in the Nintendo World Championships, which got me back into playing Balloon Fight, because I was like, I could do so better than those people. None of, not a single one of them got to see the orange balloon. Not a single one was good enough to figure out how to do it either. So, probably gonna die a few times just practicing getting back into my groove here. But, as I go, I shall explain how Balloon Trip actually works. The first 15 balloons um, are, are lined out on a grid like that. Everything after that is completely random, but there's different sections based on how the lightning moves. The first section lightning will only move up and down, but the second section on, you will get a uh, different uh, diagonal lightning strikes, which are very... I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, which are very strange. And so you get the orange balloon by getting 20 consecutive balloons without losing a single one off screen. If you lose one off screen, then you uh, start the counter over, but only after that last balloon you missed is off. So for example, if I were to hit the one on the left before hitting the one on the right and the right one left, but I hit these two, uh, they wouldn't count towards the next thing until the other one scrolled off screen. So. That's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta set up your pattern here for uh, for the first 15, and then from there you're pretty good. You just gotta be very good at dodging. You gotta know how the momentum works. You gotta know how your button presses work. Um, the fish on the bottom in the water moves is constantly moving left to right on the screen and uh, back and forth, back and forth. So there are times you can kind of like skim the water, and if you go fast enough you can skip the fish entirely, he won't grab you. But it's only if you're really lucky, because you can't see him until he moves, until he jumps up, but he doesn't jump up until you get down there, and then you got the lightning and these fucking bubbles that pause the screen that make it so much worse for you, and I got the orange balloon. So I gotta let that first one go, this one wouldn't count until that one scrolled off. I have no choice to skip those three. Okay, so the counter starts again with that one. And if I hit the bubble, it will s I'll it will stop the lightning from going entirely for a few seconds. I think it's five seconds. But oftentimes that can trap you. So it's really annoying. As well as when you hit the the every 20 balloons, the uh, balloon color will change, and it'll do that do 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 a bunch of points and stuff. Um, damn it! When that happens, the screen freezes for a moment, and just like this, 
but thing is, is that it locks you too, and you're locked in your momentum. It's literally like just the game paused really quick and then uh, resumed, so you lose, you still have that momentum. So sometimes right after getting your balloon, you'll fly right into a lightning bolt because you didn't know it was there, you didn't remember you were like trying your trajectory to get it just right and stuff. It's, uh, yeah. So this is what the Nintendo World Championships was. It was infinite lives, so just do it as much as you can, get as many points as you can in the time limit they had. And I was just like, oh damn it, I am actually kind of good at this. <laughs> I could so do this. And like, none of them even made it this fucking far. Not a single one of them got the 20 consecutive balloons to change the color. Nothing. If I would have done that one time, the points I would have gotten from it would have shot me up further than any of them had done. Come on, this is gonna be tricky. Shit, shit, shit. So yeah, balloon fight. This is fun. It's actually really fun. <laughs> When Nintendo goes ahead and does their bite-sized uh, um, mobile games, I will be very surprised if they do not issue out Balloon Trip as an individual product just as an infinite runner sort of thing. Because it is an infinite runner sort of thing. Just from the 80s, not from the mobile era. Oh, and the way you stick to the walls is really strange, too. You can bounce off of the left wall and the, up and the upper wall if you do it just right, but if you try to climb on the left wall, you'll stick to it. So you lose your momentum. Just like I lost that balloon. <sighs> Under the game balloon fight, the uptime began. Thank you, Wisebot. You're so wise. So other than the devastating news of the day, how was Comic-Con as a whole? For, for those of us who didn't actually get to go. I mean, I went, but I didn't get into anything except for the Nintendo Lounge, so we didn't do anything when we got there, we just kind of walked around. I've been wanting to stream this ever since the World Championships because I was just like, holy shit, blue invite. I'm actually kind of good at that. <laughs> Wish I still had a copy of Rad Racer. I would so play that on stream. Uh, Mr. Iwata and Mr. Miyamoto actually programmed the 3D mode that's in Square's Rad Racer from 1987, 88. Batman vs. Superman trailer, there's another one. I didn't even see it. I saw the Doctor Who trailer from Series 9. Uh, I'm still very confused as to what that bug-eyed alien creature at the end was. Um, Google told me that she's from Planet Stark or something. I don't really know, because, yeah. But I'm more confused about what character she's supposed to be portraying if it's an old character from the past that we should know. And it's like, so who calls the Doctor old man, like, regularly? And... I don't know, I just, I can't think of who it was. My, my main guess is Ace, but she doesn't really seem the type. She's too short and bug-eyed. <laughs> Sometimes it can be really good to hug the left wall too because of the way the lightning spawns. You might have a good chance of getting through a 
sticky situation like that. But running right into the bolt is also a difficult risk. Come on, I need to get to purple. Get me to purple, baby. Get me to purple on stream in front of five viewers. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna be like King Fat Master. All up in here. Well, no, 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 no. Damn it. The thing is, you can't move without having some sort of uh, uh, upward thrust. So you can tap the B button or you can hold it. And you can tap the A button indefinitely. And here we go with the diagonal light. Awesome, and I haven't seen a single purple balloon, even though I unlocked them. There, there they are, big old grapes. I got them. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not freaking out at all. Not in the slightest, and even then, the diagonal lightning's all gone. So... No! Oh, <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh... That was a good one, that was a good one. That was a high score run. Uh, the Star Wars trailer is actually, uh, it was like behind the scenes thing, it wasn't really a trailer. So that was really cool. I was really hoping they would finally show us the theatrical trailer because, you know, the movie's going to be due out in five months. And we still don't have one that I'm aware of anyway. Unless they actually did show one alongside the behind the scenes reel. But still, it was really cool to have that. It was very nostalgia triggered, triggering. Okay, next round. I did really good that time. I got to purple. I actually don't know what color is beyond purple. I think it's green. I'm pretty sure. Or no, not green. Um. Crap! What is it? I actually don't know. It might be the dark red one. Nobody spoil it for me. That's kind of been my goal, is to see what the next color is. It's green, orange, purple, then what? What could it possibly be? Notice how I used the left uh, wall there to slow my momentum down to grab that first balloon. And if I can do this right, I can bounce off the top, but I took me too far left. Oh well. It's all momentum, it's all a game of balances and momentums and physics and stuff on the freaking Famicom 1983. It's crazy. Maybe 84, I don't know. Uh, it's so old that it's crazy to think that it happened like that. Ooh, I like this game a lot. You also have a lot of forward, forward momentum when you uh, are flying. Like, you get a lot of speed going on. That balloon probably did not count towards the counter. So I should be at one. Okay, now I should be at zero for about a minute. Ow. Okay. Suicide, suicide squad, boom. Boom goes the balloon. Goes pop. Um Well he produced a lot, but like he was the executive producer on every Nintendo product for the last 10, twelve years. It's I'm more curious about the stuff that he actually worked on, like by hand rather than just fed money to, you know? And that would be like Earthbound, or this, or Rad Racer, or... Um, I don't really know too many others. Uh, 
This is definitely my favorite of the ones he actually worked on by hand. This is all him. Like, he also did a bunch of stuff for Kirby games, too. Early Kirby games, but it was, again, mostly in a producer role, mostly in a creative role. Not really in the programming part of it. Oh yeah, Gold and Silvery. He has a special thanks to Red and Blue, too, in the American version. He probably helped program the English script. Um, he worked on the uh, compression stuff that went into Gold and Silver for getting Kanto into the end of the game. Uh, he worked on some mobile... I think he worked on some of the internet stuff for Crystal as well. Um, no, 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 no. I need, I need the balloons. Thank you for the balloons. I need more balloons in the pot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's... I mean, because everyone loves Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, he's worked on a ton of stuff by hand before he got into producer, like, at, and only as a producer role. And as president, he was only ever executive producer. He never worked on anything personally. So, yeah. Okay, this was by hand. This was one of his first games after signing on with Nintendo. I think this is pre Hal, too. Maybe he worked at Hal before Nintendo, I'm not really sure. Because I'm pretty sure he walked into Nintendo's head office and was just like, hey, can I have a job? And they gave it to him. I'm pretty sure that's the story. And. Oh, I probably actually should use that one. Oh, good. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hal came afterwards. Came after Famicom. Ah. But when he started at Hal, he was one of five employees. I didn't want that. Uh, fuck that balloon. Okay. Oh, sweet, I got it before the game. Nice! I didn't know I could do that. Sweet. As long as that first balloon didn't go off screen, I was good. Oh, damn it. I was doing so good that round. Yeah, a bunch of distant cousins and stuff. And he was the first president of Nintendo who wasn't blood related to the actual founder. When I remember when he took over, it was like a big deal because of that. Because it wasn't related to Yamaguchi at all. That's right, they are. Edmund Washington. Never been there. I've never been to the headquarters, but I've been to the town. Um, yeah, it is just kind of like a gray building. A friend of mine got permission to actually go in and say hi and meet a bunch of people and stuff. Because he's, he's a graphic designer. And he was trying to pitch his stuff to help them with advertisements, with marketing. And he was trying to pitch his work so they had an interview. And I don't think it went very well, but he got to go in and meet a bunch of people and say hi and see all the cool shit they have in the office. And it was really neat. Notice how I bounced myself off the roof there to get my downward momentum to grab that one green balloon. 
That's that's pro skills. That's called pro strats. That's called using a 360 without a no scope, or without a scope of no variety. Ah, that was a dumb idea. I should have let that one go. Well. Okay. Um. So yeah, that fish is moving around on the bottom. Left or right? I don't know how fast it goes because I can't see it. I, I would have to like load it up on emulator and take off the layer that has the water to see it. But he'll only go after you if you go above him and at a certain height. So sometimes you can get really lucky and if you go super fast, you, chances of avoiding him are pretty high. So there's a strategy there. Definitely a strat. Hardcore Super Balloon Fight Strats. The kind they don't talk about Nintendo Power. God, I want something to drink that's not water or beer. Ugh. That's all we have in our fridge is water and beer. I don't want it. something tasty. No! That was good. Okay, a few more. Yeah, I just want a cold soda. Something with flavor. That's all I want. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Gotta see what's past those purple balloons. There's a uh, direct sequel to this called Balloon Kid, and it's a story-based thing rather than the... Uh, it's very post-Mario, so it's, it's very, like, a, more designed as a platformer that just uses an auto-scrolling mechanic to the left and uses the balloon physics and all that. And it's called Balloon Kid, and it's on Game Boy, and it's on Virtual Console, so I can't play it on stream because I only have it on the 3DS, and I don't have a capture device, and when I do, I'm not willing to buy the game again because Nintendo doesn't have fucking account systems yet. But I digress. I, I like Balloon Kid. I think I highly recommend it. There's some really good music there. It's very cool. Very, very good way to keep the idea going of balloons and kids. But no squids, no squids at all in this game. There's that one big fish, which I'm sure was the inspiration for uh, the fucking fish in Mario 3 that eats you. But there's no squid. Oh, I was trying to make it in that little tiny gap and I couldn't. a kid, but you tried to pass yourself off as a squid, so naturally people are going to try to ask you about it, and they're going to harass you over it. I had one guy tell me yesterday, not at, not at the con or the bar or anything, but afterwards online, uh, one guy told me yesterday 
Oh, I fuck can't fucking stand Splatoon. It's so weak. It's so, it's like Call of Duty for kids, but it's like not good. And I was like, how can you not like Splatoon? It's it's I can understand it being frustrating, but it's still neat. Lucky there, the fish was on the right side. Oh, I'm getting reckless up in here. Yeah, it, it is very ironic. The target audience for Call of Duty is you know, mature people, and then I go to a uh, Toys R Us last week, and I find a, a Lego set, a Call of Duty Lego set, and I was, and I took a picture and put it on Twitter, and I said, this is why the ESRB fails right here, is because of marketing like this. Little kids play Call of Duty, and then they scream about all the things, the nasty things they do to your mother, and if they find out you're a female player, of course, you know, all the nasty things they do to you, too. And then you go play Splatoon, and it's all adults, so there's more, like, there's a higher skill level involved, but at the same time, the lack of voice chat is pretty nice, actually. <laughs> I gotta say, I like the lack of voice chat. Because it would be all adults being all like, oh, come on, what the fuck? And then, like, the one kid in the team would be like, Mommy, you said a bad word. <laughs> like, it would be cussing out of genuine frustration rather than out of just trying to be a badass. Badass little 13 year old. Oh, man. Oh, I need that balloon. Oh boy, that was scary. That was really scary. <laughs> I did it though. I survived. Now how am I gonna get that one? Just like that. That's another thing I've learned. You have a, a further hitbox. What the fucking fish, man? Oh, man. You have a, a bigger hitbox in front of you than you do behind you. So it might usually be good to fly backwards sometimes if you're like hugging the screen like I was, because that way you won't face plant into some lightning that looks like it's further away than it should be. All the balloons. Oh, it's so hot. Such balloons. Very fight. Might actually get to see it this time. Unless I missed one. This should be like the next balloon. Something like that. But I gotta get through the, the, the diagonal field. Who knows? Yeah! Alright. One. Two. Or... Fuck! Ugh. Grr. We, we shall see what's beyond those purple balloons. Tonight is the night. 
Operation Past Purple is in effect. Oh, damn it. Damn it! That wasn't fair. That was just a bad spawn. I couldn't go for the lower and I couldn't go for the higher. shade of gray. Besides, most people who are colorblind only can't see certain shades of like reds and blues and stuff. Or reds and greens. So I can definitely tell the difference between green and purple. Because one will be a different shade of gray that's lighter and one will be a shade that's like mixed with blue and shit. It's like dogs don't see black and white, they they just can't see red and green. <laughs> yeah, nobody on the internet knows you're really a dog. Risky. <laughs> like risky boots, the pirates. <laughs> Such a loom, very tight. Randomly generated. Balloon. So on the trip. you have to ascend to move left or right. Ugh. I hate that sometimes. Uh. Oops. Oh well, I don't need the cap for that anyway. Let's do this again. Ugh. I got this shit, I got this shit, don't worry, I'm good. I'm good at balloon fight. I'm so good at balloon fight. Like, oh my god, I'm the balloon trip master. I'm sure there is, but it's never ending though, so it's just a matter of seeing what balloons are next. But for that, if you're gonna toss it anyway, might as well just look at the code and see what they spawn as. Oh shit. Fuck that up. Oof. SJDQ starts in two weeks or something like that. Looking forward. It's gonna be awesome to see all the speedrunners do the things that I've seen them do over and over and over again. But it might be awesomer because they might have learned something since last time I saw them do that. Like Majora's Mask, that one tends to get always, uh, they always discover something new in that game. So every time they show it off, last like two years, it's been different. And right after one of the GDQs last year, uh, like right after they did the Majora's Mask run, the next day someone found an exploit of the map system, so you could like warp anywhere you wanted to. And so that was featured in the next run, cause or the next uh, thing, cause they uh, figured out how to implement it to make the run faster. So it's really cool. And then of course try hex with his Yoshi's Island mastery. Awful GDQ is, is pretty good too. The Super Metroid races are always fun. And it's gonna be much better than the one done at the World Championships. 
let's see. I haven't actually looked at the schedule for this year yet, so I don't know what they're doing. But it's gonna be fun out of fun! Okay, I can lose the top ones. As long as I survive this onslaught of lightning, I can make it! One, two... No! Three... <laughs> All you know if Yoshi's Island is first? Oh yeah, hopefully no fire drill. That was really funny. <laughs> that was really funny when it happened, because he was already, like, off, like... He was already, uh, messed up on something, so it wasn't gonna be, like, a record run or anything, so he was just having fun with it at that point anyway, and then that happened, it was just like, fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I remember watching for how long- it took like an hour before they can go back in. It was all streamed because they had no time to shut it all off. So everyone was just like, what's going on? It was really funny. Someday I shall be on the East Coast during one of the GDQ marathons, and I will be able to go sit in in person, and it would be great to see all the nerds and smell the nerd squad. Maybe I won't go. Maybe I won't. Uh, that should be the 20th. Yeah. Best part was the guy running into suit. Yeah, yeah. Gotta save something. Save the plushie. Hashtag save the plushies. Ooh. That was scary. I'm gonna miss some here. Just know it. Fuck! 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 As long as I got purple and if I survive, I'm good. I can let those go, I can let those go, I can grab that one. That starts a new counter. We're all good. That was okay, that was okay. It's only it, it's only bad when you have that many on screen and you know you're close to the next one. And you miss all of them and you have to start over. Because it doesn't really help the points either. The, the major point markers are when you get a new color. Points you get for a new color, like, I, I, I forget exactly what it is, but it's like well over 10,000. Whereas the points you get for each balloon is like 100, so... Or it's like 300. But it would be higher points when you actually got to the 20 than uh, someone who got everyone in a row. That's for sure. It's just a matter of surviving longer, which is hard. Come on. I'm actually thinking of, uh, for the week of, of GDQ, or like right before, because I'm not going to stream during the actual event. But, um, I was thinking about doing Super Metroid on stream, uh, right before, because I have a shirt from last year's AGDQ that is a Kill the Animals, Save the Animals shirt, and I don't like how those fucking website shirts look on me, because the cut, but it's a special thing. I can totally do that in honor of SGDQ. Uh, yesterday, walking around Comic Con, there were so many fucking people. It was terrible. That was just too many people. I just, I can't deal. I was doing okay, but that was just too many people. 
thing is, it's always like that. In downtown areas of LA, San Francisco, New Orleans, all that stuff. It's always crowded like that. It's like I did that last week in San Francisco when we were on our trip, and then went right back into it, and I was just like, oh no. The only difference is in San Francisco, it was, you know, fucking 55 degrees and the wind was blowing, and down here it was 80. It was actually very mild, it was like 75 or something. And some wind, but mostly just people. So many people. And I fucked up again. Do, do, do. Getting past purple tonight. Hashtag past purple. Wish me luck. Down, damn it. <laughs> and one of the bad parts about playing this is I'm playing it on the, the Wii U gamepad, and so it's like a lower resolution than I need it to be, and it's also small, so it's like, uh, I have a lot of, like, risky maneuvers going on. Playing on the TV, it's a lot easier, because you can see very clearly where that lightning ends and where my hitbox begins. But my two button on the Wii Remote is getting its workout, which is great, because I barely ever use these stupid things. Especially this one. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yay! This is our fourth time seeing the purple balloons. But now there's a lot more lightning on screen. Oh, but we might actually get this. If I can just survive up here. Oh, damn it! Oh, man. I bet that was the 20th, too. One of these two. Ah, oh, shit. I got overzealous at the end. Oh, man. Um. That video delay is probably on your end, dude. I don't have any um, input lag that's noticeable on my TVs. And on top of that, you're playing a digital version anyway. If you're playing on Wii U, I'm playing a digital version on a digital screen. It's not an analog, it's not... The, the screen on the gamepad is, is digital. It's all digital, and there's no noticeable input lag for here. So if you have input lag on your TV, but not on the gamepad, when playing your Virtual Console titles, that's your TV's problem, not, not the game, not the fact that it's an old game on a digital thing. I love how people try to do that to, like, justify, like, hatred on things like the Retron 5, and it's just like, no, just adjust your own TV settings and or learn to deal with something that's so minuscule that it doesn't matter, because it really isn't the game's fault. It is on the hardware side of it. It's gonna be your television's fault, if anything. Don't blame the game, don't blame the system, blame the way you're, you're playing it. Plus, Nintendo gives such big, 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 big care about having the same experience across the different devices. Like, that is a huge thing about that. Same thing with PlayStation Network and their, and their PS1 titles. They need the experience to be one-to-one -to, -one to how it was in the actual system. So that's... 
something that they would never let slide. It is purely an issue that is on your televisions, and they even tell you put your TV into game mode or something to eliminate that or make it tolerable. For example, playing Guitar Hero on HDMI is going to be slightly different than if you're using RCA cables, but... Whoa! Hi, Tommy Ravine. Thank you for joining. But a game like that is designed around that difference. Virtual console titles will be exactly as they were on Nintendo. Unless otherwise stated in a press release or something. There's no input lag on Kirby. There's no. In I have Kirby's Adventure on cartridge as well. I have the Famicom version of it, and there's no input lag playing that shit on the Retron 5. It's... People bitch about things quite a lot. People like to bitch. I can play Punch-Out on Animal Crossing on GameCube just fine, regardless of, of whether I'm playing on the GameCube or playing on Virtual Console on the, on the Wii U here. So, yeah. Oh no. What? What's 39? Oh, 39 minutes, 18 seconds. Okay. Thank you, Wisebot, who I thought I uninstalled, but apparently won't go away. Donna Nikashi. Hey, Claire, how you doing? Tripping, we're tripping balloons, man. Uh. Oh. Hey, portable power, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in, everyone, to watch a really old game getting massacred. By the balloon fight master, the balloon trip master. Hashtag past purple, because that's our goal tonight to see what's beyond the purple balloons. What's beyond the abyss. simply a hard gamer, I guess. I, I, I think the balloon trip guy here, the balloon guy, he might be a pretty hardcore gamer, but back when he first showed up, there wasn't really much of a gaming market, at least not on home console. Let's just say he didn't have a lot of good competition. I was actually really happy to see in, in uh, Smash Brothers that the Animal Crossing person got the the villager got this as yuppie because the first time I played this game was on Animal Crossing so I was just really happy to see that little nod back to when Animal Crossing had NES games on it that first version slash first three versions in Japan. <laughs> I 
I had, when I was setting this up, I had a half a mind to just put a GameCube behind the monitor and play that version. So I could, like, play the other uh, NES games on there too, but... It was a lot easier just to use the Wii U gamepad as my screen and to use a rear remote to play. A lot easier for setup stuff. Because otherwise I have to move the camera onto the tripod and move it right here and look over there and it's really awkward and weird and I'm having a bad hair day anyway. And then I gotta go get my glasses and I don't want to do that. So yeah, yeah, that's kind of our best setup for the night. Pentacle of awesome. What? <laughs> Hi, Jay. So, for those of you who just tuned in, what a bit of trivia. This game was actually programmed entirely, well, not entirely, but mostly, if not entirely, programmed by Iwata himself. Which is why I'm playing it today. Actually, it might just be him. He might have been the sole programmer on this. I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, make me click things. Yeah, that's pretty appropriate. That's pretty appropriate. But because I clicked that link in the browser that doesn't have my Twitter login, I have to do that later to reshare it, to retweet it. That was a good find, man. That was a good find. don't count. This one counts. One. But if I don't count them, I tend to survive better. So we're not going to count the balloons anymore until we get purple again. purple. Come on, we can do it. You guys believe in me. It will be a joint effort. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, just maybe. These are meant for distance, but perhaps they can help. Uh, just yesterday you were thinking to yourself about how you're going to be fucking wrecked when Miyamoto dies. Yeah. I was thinking about that a while back, actually. I was just like, because um, he's 55. No, he's like 60. He's, he's past 60. And I remember when I heard about his 60th birthday, I was just like, Oh man, when he goes, it's gonna be so devastating for the gaming community. So devastating. Okay, glasses did not help at all, except to keep the hair out of my eyes. my pattern and I didn't get around the top part in time. In a lot of ways, this first section, just mapping it out is harder than the rest of this. 
Because after this, it's all random. After the first 15, it's all random. Are you saying there's a conspiracy or something? Because <laughs> uh, Yamauchi, he was pretty old when he died, and, and he retired a while back in 2002 or something, so... It wasn't as much of a shock, but he was, like, the last family member from the original founder of Nintendo to be in the... to be a president. That kind of sucked. Bloodline's gone. But the company remains. Or the marriage name is gone. I think he was married in. Illuminati. It's those it's those uh, hackers, man. They they can't hack Nintendo's network because Nintendo's network sucks. <laughs> so so they opted to kill the president. That's horrible. That's pretty bad. I like it. I like a good morbid joke. Especially if it's inappropriately timed like that. Oh man. And then it's just like, why would you joke about that? It's too soon. And then you laugh and you're like, oh, now I feel bad, but it was funny. <laughs> it's my old Channer mentality. It's still, it's still there somewhere inside. It's not completely dead. Dances with lightning bolts. That's that's my new tribal name. Fuck, man, I'm gonna miss that one. And then I got eaten by the fish. What the fuck, man? That's not fair. It's not fair at all. Oh, I died. Right. I got hit right when it happened. Uh, right now, it's between a guy I don't know, that I never knew the name of before, and Miyamoto. They're, they're both headlining uh, operations until they decide what they're doing. So I'm sure it was just as sudden for them as it was for us. Like, Iwata's been having those, those health problems, especially with the tumor he had in his bile duct. But, like, everything seemed to be under control for the last few months, anyway. God damn. Jay, can you close your door? Thank you. It's nothing personal, it just smells really strong. That's all. I don't like the smell of that bear plant. Not what what happened. Damn it! I killed myself. I killed myself. Really low on the screen. Register. Yeah, that's gonna be how it's programmed. So I was just thinking about the, the one player mode, or the one and two player, the regular mode of the game. It's not Balloon Trip. And it has those land sections, but the fish doesn't jump out at you when you're on land. 
so the fish must be just well enough lower than the land, just by like a little tiny, tiny bit. So I'm using that to try to judge my height on the fish thing. You know, detective work. Process of elimination. To better my skills as a balloon trip master. In a Reddit post, sorry. Yeah, I'm not clicking that. Okay, okay, up we go. Down we go, up we go, gang. Right. To the lightning. That stays in one place. It's not how lightning works in reality. on screen in the random sections, but not when they're like that. If they're really scattered, it makes it hard, because like I, I said before, if you miss one off screen, the counter resets. It's terrible. It's terrible. Hello, Jay. How you doing? Yeah, that's... I've heard that's been a thing for a while. And he was, like, very adamant, no, we need to stick to dedicated gaming consoles and not fucking cash out like that. Yeah, it, that, that is the worst case scenario about what would happen here, is they go mobile because of it he was one of the biggest roadblocks to that idea, and investors want it, uh, board of directors wants it, but President and all the developers, like like the big big developers like Mimoto, do not want it. They absolutely do not want to go mobile. They want to have dedicated full gaming experiences on consoles and handhelds, and like, I like that idea. I've always liked that idea. The mobile game market is not for that sort of experience, it's just not. And I don't want to, like, you can't have a game like Mario Galaxy on, on mobile, it just it don't, wouldn't have the same emotional impact. It just wouldn't. Yeah, can you talk about I didn't, that's the name I didn't recognize. I saw the, the, the news earlier. Oh no! In fact, Ben, if you're still around, the reason I didn't uh, text you the news when it happened is because I was kind of hoping it would be a situation like you said ended up actually happening. The news didn't really get out until after the event closed. I didn't want to be the, the bearer of bad news and have you go like, oh shit, and like tell, tell Adam or something, and he goes tell someone else, and then next thing you know, I'm responsible for ruining everyone's fun at the Nintendo lunch. <laughs> that would have been bad.
and then tortured me for like all of three seconds. Oh, that was awful. And balloons are what matter. Balloons and fighting and dying to lightning bolts. That's what I'm really fighting. I'm fighting the lightning. I'm not riding the lightning, I'm fighting the lightning. I'm not like that character in that game everyone hates but me. Uh, I swear, I'm like the only person in the world who actually likes Final Fantasy XIII. And I really, really like 13 too. That's like one of my favorite games of that generation. And so like, yeah. It always makes me sad when I was just like, 13 sucks, lightning's so bland, and blah blah blah. I'm like, I enjoyed it, and 13 too was really fun. <laughs> so sad. And I bought Lightning Returns not too long ago, and I just, um, I haven't really played it past the intro. And I'm, I had a hard time getting used to that battle system, so hopefully after I get into the game... No, 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 the hard part was I didn't know where to go. Because it, it got all open world and it was like all detective lightning, you gotta go solve this murder and shit. And I was like, okay, and then I go do it and I didn't know where to go. It was it confused the shit out of me, so I haven't gone back to it yet. But I really want to finish that story because, you know, 13-2, spoiler alert! ends on a cliffhanger, a big one, and it's just like, what the fuck, when you first see it. And so, 13-2 being such a good game, I was like, okay, I have to play 3, and then, so, I'm still kind of, you know, whatever about Lightning Returns, but I need to. I really need to. And by the way, 13-1 is not required to enjoy 13-2. It is not at all. If you do not like 13.1, please give 2 a shot. The story is paced incredibly well. It's, it keeps you hooked all throughout. Um, it's much more open. The battle system is more uh, strategic than the first game, even though the first game got really strategic at the end. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! I should just kill myself. <laughs> Like, the thing I really liked about 13 mostly was the lore and just the world and stuff and Falsy, Lucy, all that shit. And then 13 too was like, hey, let's throw all that shit out the window and just have a really fun time reminding you of Chrono Trigger. And I was like, I am so down. <laughs> and the battle system was really well done. It's, it's all strategy with paradigm shifting. Like, um... You know, the first one, it's it for most of the game it is, just kind of press X once you learn enemy weaknesses, and you can just press X to go. Um, but uh, by the end of the game, you're switching your paradigms constantly because you want certain, you want to stack certain things. It's all strategy. You're playing three moves ahead, and uh, it really turns into chess, and I think that's what the developers were really hoping for with that new battle system, with the paradigm system, and I totally got it, and I loved it. And then in 13.2, they made it even more in-depth and even more crazy. There are some fights. If you want 100% the game, you have to do. You have to complete the bestiary, um, which means you have to kill one of every enemy in the game in all the different time periods and all the different areas. And there's some fights when you're doing that that are just you are waiting. Like for example, you know I play mostly as Sarah because whatever. And uh, so you're you're 
waiting until Noel casts one certain attack, and then you do what your one attack, switch up, do the next thing, and it's like you're just doing the one attack, and then you keep changing up, changing up, reaching like, like nine different paradigms or some shit, or six, whatever the max is, and you, you planned all around that in order to barely survive this big, mu massive fucking fight that you spend hours, like, thinking about how to do. It really gets in depth, and I loved it. And then 13.3, Lightning Returns, is like, here's this entirely new system that you basically just do just press X for a while, and yeah. Is that you? Okay. Bye. <laughs> I wonder what that was about. <laughs> Did Jay order pizza? Did Jay invite a friend over? Is that a delivery of some sort? The question is, what is going on outside? That's the question of the hour. You guys want to take guesses and see what that was about? My money is on Jay's meeting a friend. Could be a friend, could be a pizza delivery, could be a delivery of some other substance. Could be one of many, many things. Cast your votes. like deep pad thing um yeah maybe maybe and honestly that's that's a good way to go is uh be friends with the pizza delivery <laughs> they'll give you extra parmesan cheese packets and stuff if you're friends with them Still have your momentum when the screen freezes like that, so I was just like, oh shit, I'm gonna fly right into that lightning bolt. Got that one. No, please. This is where the bubble comes in handy. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Up we go again. So, uh... So, uh, what was that? Okay... Blue Man may not be that far off from the truth there. What? <laughs> I was saying, take bets. Is it a friend? Is it a pizza delivery? Or a weed delivery? <laughs> <laughs> I like Lumen's <laughs> offer, Sex the Delivery Man. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? You sure? You sure that was not him just making something up to... Okay, I'll 
good at that shit. Nice. I'm actually doing really good yeah, compared to most right. people. <laughs> Do you like how I have the dual monitor set up so you can watch without hovering over my shoulder? <laughs> I am so scared right now. Oh, it gets worse. You should, we should, we need to, one of these days, Jay, we need to set aside two hours and watch the Nintendo World Championships together. Because you didn't watch it with me and they played this and it was like hilariously bad how they were. Shit. Like, none of them even got to the orange balloons. <laughs> so yeah, Jay. This game was programmed by Iwata himself. Well, he designed it in 83. At a time when it wasn't dead, it was very much in its infancy. <laughs> oh, you're making a joke about the guy who's very influential on, like, shit millions of people's lives being dead today. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I've already made one bad morbid joke that I don't even remember. I just remember it was really bad. <laughs> Do you have to get every fucking boy? Well, no. Um, this is an endless runner sort of thing, and uh, when you get 20 balloons consecutively, they'll change color and you get a shit ton of points. Right. And so you can't match that up if you were to just try to get as many, like, without getting the combo. Um, there's no way for you to match that point, so the best thing is to get 15 in a row. If they go off screen, they're uh, out of the counter, and the counter resets. So if you want to get the next color, if you want to get those points, you have to get 20 in a row, but they it, it's in a row on screen. As long as they're on screen, they don't have to be like exactly the next one, it just as long as they haven't scrolled off. But if something scrolls off, that counter resets, and then it goes by the next balloon to the screen scroll, and so sometimes you have to wait. And like, if I were to hit the far one right now, and let these two go, that far one wouldn't count, because right. the counter would reset after I, the one I missed. You just missed that one. I did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really have much of a choice. Um, the first 15 are set like this, but after that, it's completely random. But the lightning moves in sections, there's groups. Um, and on the second lightning group, uh, as you go into it, lightning, I thought those were stars. they're supposed to be lightning. Um, maybe, I mean, you can call them stars, but they're supposed to be lightning. Good job, Iwata. Yeah, good job with your limited artistic abilities at the time. <laughs> Fucking pre-Mario 1983 designer shit. Get with the times. Yeah, and then yeah, I still have my motherfucker. I still have my momentum after the screen freezes there, so I had to make sure I didn't crash into anything. Um, the bubble will pause the screen temporarily, but okay. usually it's more of a hindrance than it is a help. Yeah, I'm, so I'm I try to avoid it. Very yeah, sometimes it's a real big help because again, everything's randomly spawned, so. Uh, Sometimes I'll need to go from the very bottom to the very top when the fish hits you. God damn, you were like ninth on that one. Yeah, uh, you get to rank one pretty damn easily. It's it's my goal right now is to see what the color is after purple because it they start off green, the first color changes orange, and then they go purple, and I've never gotten past purple. So that's my goal tonight is to get past purple. And I got really damn close to one of them, and then I got overzealous, and I. But it's blue. It might be blue, I think it's probably dark red. Because I don't I haven't seen any blue balloons in the game. But I remember anyway. Oh no, you got the lightning star. Yeah. The reason I think it's lightning is because in the in the regular modes, uh, the one and two player modes, um, the there are clouds, and if you take too long to kill the enemies, they'll shoot out lightning bolts and then they shoot these out and they just kinda bounce around. 
No, these are anti-aircraft. They're anti-aircraft lightning yeah, missiles or something. Yeah, a lot of like back in the Fuck! I got How trapped. How are you supposed to do that one? You don't. It's all randomized. Your mom's random. So the world championships, what they did was they had people doing balloon trip mode, which is what this is. Yeah. And they, I think the time limit was five minutes or three minutes, and it was just to see how many points they can get in that time. It didn't matter how many times they died. Whenever they died, the score counter would just keep at it. So everything would still get counted, and they just added it all up at the end. And nobody got 20 in a row. Nobody saw the orange. Um, I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, what I was getting at, the, the third wave of lightning, because these ones are static, the second one are completely random, the third one, uh, which is the second block of, like, randomized lightning, it always starts off with horizontal and diagonal bolts. So, I already fucked up, but, um... Yeah, they, they come out different angles like that and shit, and so it gets harder, but it's only in the intro section. Then they go away after you get further in, and then you get to purple around that time, and it just adds a shit ton more lightning on the screen. It's super hard to keep your consecutive thing going, and I need that because I want to see what's past purple. So, ooh, man, this game. I have spent so many hours on this game. Are you hungry at all? No. I'll just take three minutes or something. We don't have money yet. Well, I was just actually thinking, because like, as soon as the pizza idea came up for what that was, I was just like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> and then I remember we don't have money. <laughs> I have $15 cash, and on my card I have like $30 or something. So, we, got we got bread, we have sandwich material, we got micro burritos. Um, I think that's about it. I won't starve, I just wanted something tasty, that's all. Oh, yeah. Getting the purple is quite the challenge. I've only seen it like five times. How far have you gotten so far away? Uh, five times tonight. Um. <laughs> I got one, I, cause I'm not really counting the balloons, cause I'm more focused on just not dying. Um. But, you know, I can kind of tell after I've gotten a huge clusterfuck of balloons, I'm like, okay, I better get to the next color soon, right? What the fuck? The, the fish is constantly going left to right on the bottom of the screen. But you can't see it. You can't see it. So if you get over it, it'll jump out at you. And uh, so that's why in that first section I go fast, because I believe it spawns on the left. I, I'm just guessing, but I think it spawns on the left. And... Uh, by the time I get, because it's all auto-scrolled, so by the time I get over to this section over here, I can usually skim the bottom right around here without getting jumped at. But if you're gonna skim the bottom, it's best to try to do, like, left-right really quick, because then it has less chance of jumping out at you. Because you can get away if you're going fast enough. Once he grabs you, though, it's over. It's all over. You got this shit. I believe in you. I just skimmed it with my ass. It's okay. Well, actually, my hand sticks out further than my ass. So. Yeah, that, that's what that flappy thing is. It's, it's the, his hands. He's, he's waving his arms to fly. No! Ah! Yeah, it's all momentum, so it's like, fuck. Oh man. Oh man. Oh gosh, golly gee. I think I already fucked this one up. No, it's the screen scrolled too far. I can't get back up on the last section here to get that last balloon. I can't do it. You know what? When you get behind my dad, I think you should go over the top. 
it wouldn't it help. Down. If it wouldn't, it wouldn't help if the screens locked me out. I can't go back. This way you can fall faster than you can climb. Is what I'm thinking. No, so actually. Bullshit. Not if it's a direct descent. You don't fall faster than you climb. This is my falling speed at its highest. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick, but the thing is, if I if I still have upward momentum, it has to go up, slow down, then go down. I was just saying, okay. Say, it's not like Mario where it's like an instant rock. You get those, and you jump up and you get those, and you cut in and you get those three. I can't, I got, I know this pattern here well. Okay, well this is the it. best pattern I I've saying, managed to figure I mean, out. I think you did it okay. I believe in your soul. More, uh, oh, no, no. I was more worried about the fish there because I was going to get in between those two, but I, I'm playing on the gamepad. I can't really see that well. It's all squished. So, <laughs> this is a game where, even though it's super low resolution, you need to see that shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, I actually bothered. Oh, missed yeah, you missed it. So the counter reset. Yeah, but the thing is, but now, by, by the time I get to the cross lightning section, I'm not gonna be at yeah, purple. Maybe you don't actually make it to the cross lightning section. It doesn't matter. Don't if my, it doesn't matter if I don't get purple. I want to see you live longer than you've been living. This entire thing is right, randomized and it's never it's ending. Seven. Yeah, you're good at counting. You do the counting part. <sighs> Yeah. I still have five consistent viewers, but nobody's talking in chat because they're probably all holding their breath going like, Oh my god, oh my god, <gasps> waiting, <laughs> Either that or they didn't like my, my story about Final Fantasy XIII. And they decided, fan of games I don't like, and just, yeah. You know how the internet is. And... Yeah. The first 15 are set, and everything after that is completely random except for this different lightning sections. The way they load, and then that next one has the horizontal lightning. I can't see what you said in chat, but thank you for talking. <laughs> I saw it in my peripheral, there's a new thing of text. Go, 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 go. Okay, what'd you say? Oh, hi! Uh, you got five more, five more. <laughs> okay, drawing while you watch. Okay, not enough hands, but do you have enough eyes? That's more important. Five so more. that's the first section done of the random stuff. Five more. And now I got the sideways lightning. It's gonna fuck me up. After a while it ends, it goes back to normal, right around here. That one came out of the water! Damn it! Because once my momentum is set, I'm kind of stuck in that pattern. Yeah. And oh, if that one hadn't come out of the water, I would have... I don't even want to watch you anymore. You just disappointed. You disappointed me. You want to play? No. <laughs> exactly, bitch. <laughs> you wouldn't hard. even get past this section. No, it looks hard. And and you know what? You're good with with um, geometry in your head like that. You would love this game because it is all momentum. It's all physics based. Yeah. You would love it. And you'd be like, oh, okay, I can do this that next time. And yeah. The box is bigger on the on the front side than it is on the back side of the fighter. I've learned that the hard way. I think it's because his nose sticks out slightly, so it's a box, you know, vertical line. Nose. Yeah. Learned you can get away with quite a bit on the ass, but not very much on the head. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Pretty sure the fish in Mario 3 is based on this. I didn't space that long enough. Yeah. But then you get back to the static section and you're like, oh shit, this is all pattern memorization and all button memorization and physics memorization. Whereas the rest of it's completely random and happening live before your very eyes. It's like two different games. No. You wanna play? No. You sure? No. I'll hand you the controller, it's pretty simple, you just tap B. You wanna order pizza? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, the, fish! You need a controller. Okay, so this is your uh, B button. If you hold it, you will flap your arms incessantly. Uh -huh. If you tap it, if you tap the A button, you just do once. It, it won't be, it won't be con constant. So, if you want to actually do a round of that mode just to practice for a minute. Yeah. Okay, so, um, start and select on the remote are these. So you do start, and because it's an old game, you press select. And there you go. You're, yeah, it'll give you a chance to learn the momentum. Um, in this mode, you can actually have one of your balloons popped, and it changes the physics of how he controls. So, or I guess a she, it doesn't matter, even though I know it's supposed to be a dude based on the box art. I mean, it's pretty androgynous in game, so I'm gonna go with a girl, because why not? So, you found a mice in your trash can. A mice? A mice, that's what Ben said. A mice. And this guy's a fucking substitute teacher. Can't even grammar properly. You can't grammar. Can't even grammar. Bam! Fuck that dude. Uh, did you see that shit? Watch it. Bam! No, don't kill it. Just throw it out in the field. Ah! Since Jay is playing, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to plug in the game. Ah, I suck at this. Okay. Did you see that fucker hit me? No, I'm over here. Ah. Okay, game over. Alright, let's try again. Alright, so select, or minus, 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 and then plus. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm right here, you don't have to talk about me in the third person. I don't know. Okay. I wouldn't do it me. Oh, I thought you died when you said, oh no, so I thought it was okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Uh, it's like a minute. Yeah, I'm God, it's like, um... You're just not used to the screen scrolling constantly, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, that. Um, but there is a set pattern there. That's how you want to do it. You know, it's a side scroller too. I can't. I'm not and it goes good. left. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even realize. Yeah, that kind of was fucking me up too. It actually, uh, this you game. You know what this reminds me of? Joust. Joust. A little bit, yeah. It's got the same sort of physics to it. Yeah. Um, but this game predates Mario setting the standard of side scrollers going right. So, like, it's it's very classic in that regard. Don't kill the mouse, just catch it in a cup, put, you, you put a cup over it, and then you put like a piece of paper or something under, just scoot under him, and then you pick it up, you go outside, and then you just chuck him. Throw him into a bush, everything will be fine. Don't need to kill an innocent mouse for getting, trying to get food. It did nothing yeah, it wrong. it probably ran in when your door was open Smelled the trash like and five it was, seconds. Yeah, it smelled the trash and it was like, ooh. I mean, that's why mice and cats are, are uh, arch enemies. It's because they act so much alike. Yeah, they just kind of show up one day and they don't go away. 
Well, they also like they sneak in real quick and they swoop it around. You know what? And it sucks that you don't like just get a balloon knocked off on this one. Yeah, yeah. And the other mode, you can you you get a, a hit of damage. <laughs> you got a mouse in the closet. Hmm. That's sad. So this first section here, Jay, you can kind of stop when you hit the, the wall if you get there before it scrolls. So that's how I slow down in time. I usually go super fast and then I slow down by hitting the wall. You can kind of bounce off the ceiling too. Oh, okay. Uh, and you can bounce off the ledge and die. Yeah. I didn't actually hit it that time though. But if you make a sandwich, then we'll never work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's okay. Oh shit, it's like 11.30, I didn't even know. So we can order more pizza, yes! Mwah! <laughs> uh. Oh no! The problem with hitting that left wall is you stick to it, so it fucks up your planning, so you have to be prepared for it. Like... Oh, okay. I was actually about to go like, like, butt sex! And then um, I was like, no, I should probably not say that on stream. And then I stole it. And <laughs> you I was stole like, yeah, it anal. and did it. <laughs> Unapologetic <laughs> anal sex. <laughs> Unapologetic <laughs> anal sex. <laughs> Sounds like a good song. <laughs> I can't wait until there's gay country songs. Oh Unapologetic anal sex. There's all rest of gay country now. songs. I think, who was it? Dixie Chicks or somebody sang, sang one about like, they can have your girlfriends and whatnot. Really? Something. But there's no unapologetic anal sex and lesbianism. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a name of like a book I'll write one day. <laughs> I like how I got more viewers now. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about unapologetic anal sex over here. Yep. You're gonna give me a bad reputation in the Twitch community, you know? <laughs> My bad. I'm all about reputation. No, I need that! And I'm gonna die! <sighs> <laughs> that was a bad one. <laughs> I feel like I got PTSD from watching you do this. Oh, it's very triggering. Don't don't show Tumblr my my streams. They they get very triggered. <laughs> uh, uh, Portable Power just said unapologetic anal sex during balloon fight. Exactly what Iwata would have wanted. <laughs> right? I think so as well. <laughs> That guy knew what fun was. Look at this game. He did. He did. He knew exactly what was fun. Ah, goddammit, I stuck to the wall so I couldn't go right. Ugh, oh, hate that. I don't know if that's something that comes across well on the video, just saying video, but... Because this game is so based on feel, because it's all momentum. So... Yeah, it's definitely like a feeling problem when you get stuck on that wall. Yeah, I can tell when you're just like... Okay, hit that wall to slow down sometimes, and that's it. And like, I, you know, like, in the five seconds I played it, the momentum is way more a part of it than, than you think. Oh yeah, it really is. This game is all momentum in physics. It's like, like having a fast car. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, it's like having a super fast car and learning how to drive it. And it's always wonky. <laughs> and you have to be careful not to the lightning bolts. Yes, yes, lightning bolts are everywhere on that road. Just like driving a cart, a Mario Kart. Because there actually is lightning on the road. It makes you small. And then certain games makes you lose coins. Oh, why did I do that? That was stupid. Ah, dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. So, hey, all you people watching, have, have you read any good fan fiction lately? <laughs> I mean, How about that one, Unapologetic Anal Sex? Yes, Unapologetic Anal Sex, starring the balloon fighter. And those little fucking birds from the, from the main game mode. Because when they move, they go. Dee, 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 dee. You probably couldn't hear it because there's no sound coming from the TV when you did it, but uh, they make noise when they fly. This guy really? doesn't, but the little birds do. Yeah, they tweet. That probably would have made me happier, right? <laughs> Watch out for the star. Yeah, the star coming. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're on like a 35-40 second delay or something, so yeah. He was gonna say that his idea for the fanfiction would be what you said. Unapologetic <laughs> Sorry. <and> sex. <laughs> Apologetic <laughs> anal sex is how it's done in Canada, yes. That is the only Sorry. way. Sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and that is why my stream is rated mature. <laughs> I actually do have a, a thing, Jay, on here. Um, it was Jay, a... Jay and Claire play well off of each other. They say fun many times in the stream. Yeah, it, you you can flag your stream whether to be mature or not. And I was just like, I'm probably gonna say fuck a lot. So I, I, went, I went ahead and I, I just set it to like, yeah, let, let's flag this as mature. I'm gonna play little kid games and scream. Oh, no. oh. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I said just before I got I... Get I make amends with the death because I usually see it coming because, again, it's all momentum, so I can feel when I'm gonna go right into something. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh shit, well I'm dead anyway, so I just let myself die and I come to terms with it because I have infinite lives, I can just try again. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna get over it. Again, it's a small screen and it's all squishied and I can play on there, but then I have to move the camera. I don't want to move the camera. <sighs> because moving the camera is a hassle. It always makes me look weird on stream, so I don't like doing it. That's why I don't stream more shit. <laughs> you gonna stand over here and hold the fucking TV down? Sure. That's really what y'all do. Y'all mount it, like, right here. Well, well, there's actually a much easier, much cheaper method about going about doing that, but it requires buying a new capture device. No. It's not easier or cheaper. Uh, yeah, it is actually because mounting that over here and being like television, it yeah. It's gonna be like right here. It'll be like right here. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so the other capture card is ninety dollars, but the way it works is it's an internal card. And that means it goes straight to here and I'm doing a, I'm doing a capture video from here. So my computer's actually rendering it rather than the fucking box, the Elgato box. So what that means is my computer might have problems, like because I need a new processor, because you know my processor's super old, and that might hinder my streaming capability. But the fact of the matter is I would be able to stream from my monitor, which means I would not have to have this TV over here. I would not have to set the camera up over here. I could look directly as I am right now. It'd be super easy, super simple. Um, the delay is so minuscule that because I'm not a speedrunner, it doesn't fucking matter to me. 
I can just play on here and everything will be directory to to everyone. It would be great. And I was making an Iwata joke there and it was bad because I was also being Rachel about it. <laughs> Reasons I'm single, number 4,892. Make horrible jokes about the dead and their race at the same time. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh! No! Oh, what are you doing? Uh, actually, since I... Well, you it, you guys get Echo, but I want to listen better, so... Very good. This game actually has a sick bass. Can't really hear it on the gamepad. But playing it on the TV over there, it's got some pretty sick bass. My nice little sub for my thousand watt surround system. I was explaining my surround sound woes to Patrick earlier today, and he was just like, did not get any of it. And he was like, I already have so many wires, like, kid, you did nothing compared to me. <laughs> Look behind my TV, and you will cry. If somebody ever robbed us, they wouldn't take our stuff, they'd take our copper. Our what? Our copper. Copper? All our copper wires and shit. Oh, no, 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 no. What they'd do is they'd, they'd, they'd be trying to unhook the systems, and they'd be like, Fuck, I need the cables! How, how do I fuck it and just take the system and run? That's what they'd do. And they'd, then you'd be like, going to GameStop the next day being like, Hey, so did anybody come in here looking for a video and power cable for a Wii U? Because <laughs> mine got stolen, and... They didn't take that shit. Because it's running through several different boxes. Actually, it doesn't right now. The video is directly fed. The video is directly fed. Um, audio is being split out after the fact. Damn it. Jesus! Because it's running out from my TV to the surround system, but it goes to the TV first, so there's no video. Come on, you stop talking and start concentrating on this shit. Come on. Fuck you, I'll do what I want. I mean, that last one just for this life. You hurt my soul. I thought you were I gonna... had to go into it. I had no choice. I was trying to go I had to go down and I couldn't. It was either that or restart the counter, so I decided to restart the game. My uh, bad. Oh my soul. No, 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 Fuck! Uh. I was at the start of the orange, so it's not that bad, but still. This is when the fucking bubble is useful, and they scatter them like this. But then the momentum's different, because you're not moving. So it, you suddenly feel like you're loosened up, and you're like, holy shit! <laughs> and so you have to, like, try hard not to crash. Damn it! Nobody can see or see hand gestures, Jane. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't! Damn it! One... <laughs> three... <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those could all Eleven. be oranges by now. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I mean, this is like watching a fucking soap opera in French. Like, I don't really understand what's going on, but <laughs> damn! Come on! <laughs> Something. <laughs> yes. Alright. It's all now, bitches.
I need like what three more five more at most because usually by by the time we get to this gap in the in the, yes. the sideways ones I think I have five more to go uh, it's random so I don't know I just I usually have a couple to go by here we shall see we'll get to the purple if we can make it it will be pretty awesome and stuff and kind of stuff I don't be ashamed of this. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's usually around the I don't want to hit the lightnings. It's easier to let one go at this point than it is to kill myself and restart. Now, now I need a bubble and I don't have one. And the oh! ah! <laughs> you would have gotten past purple right there. I couldn't have possibly ah! gotten out of that because of my upward momentum. Ah! And Jay, you know what the worst part is? <laughs> the worst part is, and you know this because you played it for five minutes. You can't move left yeah, or right unless like, you ascend. Oh man. I had no way of getting out of that. Yeah, that's right. You can't fall backwards. You can't do anything but fall, and I already had upward momentum. That's what kicked me into it in the first place. So oh, I could not have gone left or right. <laughs> I, that's one of those moments, like I was saying, you have to just resign yourself to fate. It sucks that there were so many on screen, but there was no bubble, so the counter would have been reset anyway when I missed one. Oh, man. That's the fucking hard part about purple, is the fucking counter. Okay. It's not getting there. Oh, it's what the fuck? Uh, it's getting loud over balloon fight. Yeah, this game is hardcore. This game is the most hardcore. When people say NES hard, they're talking about this. They're talking about fucking balloon trip. Nobody else has seen the, what's past the purple balloons. I don't think Iwata himself had since he programmed them. Okay. It's getting back up that's going to be the problem. Doesn't this game kick the crap out of that Coleco balloon game from yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. It's okay. Oh! <laughs> we were playing this one balloon game. I forgot the name of it, but it was on ColecoVision on one of those like retro console things, plug and plays. And uh, we were playing this balloon game where you have to you have to blow up four individual balloons, but you can't overdo it, or you'll blow them, and, uh... So I blew the balloon. You gotta the float over some like, shit. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Each one can only get, like, six puffs of air or some shit. Five. It I think like it was the six. Ones, you could, no, five to the top and six to the bottom of the thing. Oh. But yeah, that reminded me a lot of this game, only this game is all momentum, so it's very, very different from how it controls. Okay. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Damn it! I was trying to figure out how I could get that lower section, and then it wouldn't go left when I tapped it. I ran off the edge there because when you're when you're walking, you can actually walk left and right. I don't think I'm allowed to participate in balloon fight tournaments. <laughs> I'm too good. At least if the rules are like that fucking world championships. <laughs> I would have schooled all them fuckers. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna skip a couple. I'm gonna skip them. I'm gonna just restart the counter over here. Thank you. 
looking. But as I come down the screen, it's stuck like that. Because the screen is too clear, off, or kind of at the same time. Sorry, I lost my pot. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Um, you can either work together to kill all the, all the birds and get the points and compete with points and just see who can live longest and get the most points. Um, or you can fuck each other up at the first stage and then just win that way. <laughs> or you can trick your friend and be like, let's get as far as we can and then just see who has any points when we lose our balloons and then completely fuck them over because the bonus stage, you get to a bonus stage a few levels in and uh, if you go in with one balloon, you come out with two. So that's the only way to like re-get your stuff back without dying. And uh, so you can like totally plan around and like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I've got one balloon left, and then you kill your friend and be like, mwahaha. -ha. <laughs> Two balloons, motherfucker. I'm gonna beat your score. This game is pretty hardcore. It's not like parkour. It's hardcore, more like in balloon. Come on, up we go. Okay. Okay. Just give me one. Yeah. Yeah. My first section is always 15. Let's see. The ones that are predetermined. Uh, I'm gonna miss those brown ones. Don't tell me. So I can get. Ah! Oh, my soul hurts. <sighs> oh, I already screwed up. I went too far. I went too long without getting them. screen scroll to a certain point and again that if I go too far in this section I can't get the last balloon. And then the counter resets. This was all for naught. Oh I challenge everyone watching this game right now to beat my high score that I set tonight. Is that your high score right here? Yeah, the one that says top. Yeah. That's, that's the best I've done tonight. That's purple balloons and that's lasting for quite a while with them. Damn it! You suck! I mean, you're actually really good. It's just like that one time right there. Where you suck so bad. It's because of the lightning! I had no choice! I couldn't get around it! God damn it, lightning! Such a bland character, nobody likes you. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I already fucked up the orange section, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, this game is available on the Wii Virtual Console, the Wii U Virtual Console, 3DS Virtual Console. Animal Crossing on GameCube, e-reader cards for Game Boy Advance. You have no excuse. You can play this game super cheap if you don't already own it a billion times. So I challenge each and every one of you watching my stream tonight, beat this score. The one that says top, 52340. If you can beat it, Take a screenshot through Miiverse if it's being played on the Wii U or 3DS. That way I can know for sure that you're not cheating. And, well, actually, no, because you just re use a restart point like a fucking cheater, so maybe that's not the best idea. 
Maybe you can find a way to prove to me, like maybe record it or something. Just prove to me that that was legit. You will get a prize of some sort. The prize being my eternal gratitude towards somebody else actually liking Balloon Fight besides me and Satoru Iwata. <laughs> I got eight viewers right now. That's crazy. That's so crazy. This is a great time for me to have a bubble. I thought I didn't grab a start. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Fuck you, fish. Oh. So, how, how's your night going, everybody? It's, it's 11.50 p.m. on my coast, and Jay's going to bed, I think, and I'm fighting balloons. Trying to see what's past the purple ones. That's my goal, and I can't seem to get to do it. Yeah. Tired, but I'm I'm actually pretty hungry, so I'm with you on that one. And my three extra viewers are gone. I'm back down to five. What a shame. Nobody likes balloon fight or my balloon fight challenge. Or oh, nobody, 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 nobody likes it. anyone was watching this, like, a random on, on Twitch search or something, they were probably just like, what is Balloon Fight? I could play some Smash Brothers, I guess, but not that good. And the GameCube controller is- well, I guess I'm gonna use the wafer. If I had a green screen and I knew how to do video effects, I would so do that. I'd have balloon fighters going on behind me. It'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. Like, you guys have been watching me stream quite a bit of stuff over the last few months and stuff. And we actually get to a game I'm somewhat good at. And, like, you two are the only ones watching. Everybody just wants to watch me fail. And watch Zack die. Everybody wants to watch Zack die. Actually, nobody wanted to watch Zack die. When I did Crisis Core, nobody was fucking watching, so I stopped playing. It was really bad. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, artichoke, poppy, beans, and momentum. left again. It was worse because the screen wasn't moving. Oh shit son! Purple again! Haven't even made it to the sideways lightning. Thank you random number generators. Good shot, and then miss your fucking mark by like one pixel. Focused on the right side of the screen. Fly, 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 fly.
I lost a viewer. So my god, shamed that I got so close and yet stayed so far. And they clicked away. How do I be more entertaining with Balloon Fight? I don't even know. <clears throat> I need more unapolo <laughs> unapologetic butt sex on the stream. <laughs> You can try. Just have you and Kip in the background. Yeah. Going to town. I need to put myself. I got to the purples and I got trapped again. I was doing really well because I got to the purples before the horizontal lightning section. It just happened to spawn enough balloons that I got purples before that. It was so cool, Jay. No. You were just like, look, lightning. Fuck you. <laughs> Have fun doing that. Used a waterproof eyeliner, you're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa! What did you dress up as today? Squid Kid. He had a proton pack and everything. That's cool. Did you not see uh, Andre or whatever his name was yeah, last night? Yesterday. Yeah, they both did the same thing. Oh. Yeah. He said he found- Andre told me That's that he found cute. the, uh, container that they made the, the ink pack out of at Party City. And it just had a, a bunch of party hats in it, paper party hats. So they covered it in duct tape and stuff and then they painted it. I you had no choice. I usually don't. It's like that Rocky song. Ain't no easy way I have to do. I don't know the rest of the words. But there's no easy way out. Yeah, I remember the tune. I'm hungry, Jay. You should feed me. You should feed me. I'm busy. My hands are busy. I don't know what to do. I need you for something. I need you to feed me because I'm a fucking sloth and I'm playing video games and I can't put them down to eat. Nah, Lou man, he was having a, an existential crisis because he's not a kid, but he is a squid. I don't really like this. You don't want a dry, delicious cookie? I don't want a dry, delicious, not delicious cracker thing. Your mom's a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> she actually is, yeah, she is. She's pretty fucking white. It's right over the wash blood, so. Seeing balloons in my nightmares tonight. Mm. It's okay. Don't worry about these. Ah! Again, momentum, and then the fucking screen started again. And... Oh boy. Yeah. 
And maybe you do. Maybe, the, maybe that's not the makeup. Fuck it. <laughs> Suicide by okay. balloon. Suicide by gently floating into the ocean. The never ending ocean. That one hurt because I could have avoided it if I just ducked around real quick. So I just need to slip down a little bit. I'm really worried I'm not gonna get this in time. Time for what? The screen. I got it though, so it's okay. I was just worried. I'm losing my concentration like a motherfucker, too. I don't know if I'm just tired or if I'm not hungry, but... I really am losing my concentration on this game. If I had a Red Bull, some coffee... And, like... Ah, some pizza... About that, send back. Pizza Hut is open till 2 every night. Don't you dare tell me otherwise. I need my dream alive. <laughs> I need it alive. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> oh, this is good. I just noticed all the stars in the background are green. They are, aren't they? When we came home from our vacation of two weeks, the, my stuff was dusty, but not nearly as dusty as it is normally, just because of our air conditioner. Because <laughs> it pumps in air from outside, and it doesn't have a really good filter or anything, so it just blows air around and gets really dusty in here. Really easy. Fuck it. You can see I was stuck on the wall there for a moment. My score is going up. I beat my high score. You have a higher score to beat people who are going to take my challenge. No! Uh, Why? I was I was all freaking out because I was missing that one on top. You needed two more balloons. Did I really? Oh god! Don't tell me the numbers. Don't tell me the odds, three PO. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. <laughs> It, the problem is, because it's all momentum based, you tend to like, when you freak out, you overcompensate really yeah. easily. And it, it's like driving a car, you overcompensate really badly, and then you like, you suddenly, next thing you're off the road, and you're telling the cops, like, you don't know what happened. There was a banana peel, and this fucking kid with a mustache, and. They're not for those darn kids, I got my way. And this other one had a blue shell and just threw it at you, and you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just trying to drive to Walmart. What are you doing? I have to. I I can't. I can't. No, those don't count. This one counts. No, oh, fuck you, man. Don't kick in right when I'm trying to get that. Yeah, the tight space and all that. This game is. Mm, this game makes me salty. It makes me a salty town. I 
beat me. And Soviet balloon fight. Appreciate you. No! <laughs> Is... This game that's been out for 30 plus ah, years. Really? Yeah. Fuck to be off. 31. 31 years. Okay. That's 30 plus, just not very far. Okay. You like math. You're the math avenger. Meth-Avenger. What's that noise? I don't know what number we're going to about halfway there. Probably. Did get it not too long ago. I'm at least ten by now. Oh yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking like this. Okay. Where are all the balloons? That section's always empty because it loads the, the diagonal lightning section. And then it goes back to normal right here and the balloons come back. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Okay, so note the score 28220. That's not even half. Half of what the score is, but I was only like three balloons away from getting back into top score range. That's how much getting the combos is important. You cannot even fucking get close unless you combo. So, yeah, my score, you best be beating the purples. Because I've almost done it. Yeah, that's some serious nerve right there. I know how this game works. I've been playing this game for at least 10 years now. No, uh, 2002. It's 13 years. I've been playing this game for 13 fucking years and I still haven't seen what's past the purple balloons. Oh, you get so close. But to be fair, I haven't really tried practicing balloon trip until after the world championships. <laughs> I always did the other mode. I never got too far on this one. Understandably so, right? And then I figured it out and I was just like, okay, cool, I can do this, 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 okay, I got this shit. And then I learned how the physics work and yeah. I only do it when I have to or if I don't have a choice. I do not. When I have to or don't have a choice. Right, when I have to to get balloons or when I don't have a choice because it's in the way. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I mean, I understood you the first time, I just thought it was funny. But... You like how you word things. Yeah, but then I die. You like how you word all sorts of things. Except you don't read anything besides Arcana. And you, I don't even have any of that published. You like all the words. How drunk were you last night? Do you remember our conversation about that? No, the conversation about that specific scene that I read. No. Yeah, Yeah, I was driving. Well, it was before we drove me. It was when we were walking the car. Right. So we were walking through the neighborhoods, and we went too far, and then we went backwards. All those homeless people. It's a real shame. They should play balloon fight. They like it. That was my bad. I, I told you, I'm losing one slip in my concentration really hard. The talking actually does help, because I'm more just tired and hungry, but mostly hungry, I'm not really tired. I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna go back to Eorzea, or write some more, or something, or watch a grump episode, or... I don't even watch Arno try to play Ocarina at a time, that's gonna be hilarious, I bet. Um... Um... I got here. Where's the balloons? Good question. RNG. 
Oh no! Fuck you, man! I was still green that far, and they were still green. That was just a bad spawn in general. Uh, yeah, if this game were made today, the past the purple balloons, it would just say, Thanks for playing! If you want to unlock more, pay five more dollars. DLC. And that is why we, Iwata did not want Nintendo to go mobile. <laughs> Ooh, fish saw me. I went by him too quickly. Ooh, that was really closely spawned. Jinxing myself, but whatever. So now I really want a bubble. Now I don't know more, but it would be good. This would be a great place for a bubble. Oh look, there is one. Oh! Oh my god! Fuck you, bubble, and you're tempting my fate! Ugh. I'm probably not gonna play that much longer. I didn't realize how long the stream was going on. It started at like nine, I intended maybe an hour, and now it's been like three, and then time has just flown by. I was just trying to rise up because I was just like, shit, that fish is gonna get me, and then BAM! Uh. Uh. I wanted a bit more forward momentum than I actually ended up getting from my extravagant adventure. And I, fuck, I, I think not too. Hoping to fall before it. Oh, no, 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 I fucked it up. Fucked it up. Boop, 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 boop. off too. Oh. Uh, when there's too many like that, like you're like, hey, there's a lot because I can get up there, but then the fucking lightning's in the way. And that oh, means yeah. you can't get them. <laughs> like, like having a lot of balloons on stream is not a good thing. So it makes it hard to get them.
Bats and bubbles can be useful. They're very contextual. Really? Okay, cool. Yeah, notice my score. It's just about to hit three. 30,000, I guess. I don't know how many zeros there are. But oh! <laughs> really? Okay, one more. One more for Jay. You know, Jay, you're like my mascot on this stream. Emma, I'm a mascot? Yeah, because you like hardly show up and then uh, you're here and I think it's funny for a minute. And then... <laughs> Either that or we yell at each other and it gets really awkward. <laughs> You're welcome. You're my Franker Z. <laughs> Calm the fuck down! You're not even playing! Until 12:30, and then I'm done. We shall re-challenge this someday, I'm sure. I did not intend to get that bubble. Too high, too fast. You ever do that, Jay? You go too high, too fast. <laughs> oh man! Come on! My Wii mode is getting such a workout right now. That two button is like, oh, baby, I like the way you press me. D-pad is just like, oh my god, stop pressing me so much. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna hit it. Oh, thought for sure I was gonna die as soon as it started up again. You bubble! I would not have hit that if not for the oh, bubble. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh. You have all my disappointments. <laughs> that is really strong. <laughs> You didn't have to leave, I just wanted you to close that door! <sighs> That's seven minutes, I can do this in seven minutes. I can totally beat the purples in seven minutes. It's like ten games right there! Not that one, though. Not this particular round. This one's bomb. Okay. Here we go. No, I still got seven minutes. 
so hungry. I want to eat food and stuff, but I can't. Because I'm playing the Loomba and I want to eat food and I can't because I want to play more of this game and stuff and stuff. And it looks really awkward on stream when I'm playing on the game pad here because I'm looking down. And I'm sure everyone's just like, what the hell? That's how women are supposed to work. Stop. <laughs> we just got back from a nerd convention where people actually think like that. So I'm sorry, I thought it was funny. I was just saying it because everybody else thinks it's funny. Or a legitimate way to live life. Ah, oh, fuck what you! The fuck? Because when the screen starts again, the momentum starts again for the, the scrolling, so you have to match up to it again. And it's just like, fuck you, game! Just hold it. So that when it kicks back in, you're already going that direction. That's the problem that happened there. This makes me shawty. I'm almost like big jerk. I'm so shawty. Okay. Yay. Oh shit, today's Sunday, huh? Um, why don't you go get set up because I'm on your bed for five minutes. So that way you can go straight to bed. Okay. Fight! Oh, you're gonna have to go! Do it! Go. Oh, you got it. Yeah! That was a nice grab. That was a nice butt grab. Grab it with my butt! Oh, ah. All my sadness! Okay. Four minutes. Four minutes until 12.30. Four minutes to break that that record of mine that I want to break. Or the goal. I want to reach that goal. This is going to be a new playlist on YouTube. On on my stream playlist. Oh, fucking A. <laughs> the fucking A playlist. <laughs> the goddamn it playlist. It's going to be called Claire's Challenges. Or Claire's Challenge or something. Because my challenge on this one was to get past the purples. And I'll play another game where I don't get eaten by a fish, and then I can set a challenge for it, and that will be my challenge for that day, and then I'll stream that, and that'll be my challenge, and make a whole thing about it. It'll be great. It'll be so great. It'll be so good. I'm, I'm so excited right now about it. If I knew how to edit videos, I would just edit this down to the best parts and get down to like a 10 minute thing of failure. And then I would have a ton of subscribers on YouTube because nobody wants to watch a three hour stream. What? What? Uh, uh, um, I actually have one installed on here. A good one, I mean. I just don't know how to use it. I should. I don't know the name of it right now, but when I remember, I will tell you how I installed it and everything, and how it's supposed to be like the stuff that all the pros use, and how uh, I just don't know how to use it, because I grew up with Windows Movie Maker, and that's pretty fucking low end by today's standards of free, easy to use stuff. So. So raggedy. Yeah. You're dropping those balloons so raggedy. Uh, oh, uh, and the fish got you. And the fish gets you. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen. They just be like, oh shit, dead person in the water. No. What? Snacks. No, Jay. You make me more anxious than than I am, because I'm actually pretty chill, saying I can just restart any moment. I didn't expect that. Mom. 
and I'm about halfway there, so it's this turn it's tricky. Halfway to the purples, I mean. This is probably my last game because it's 1229, so if you don't get it this time, if I don't get past the orange this time, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I need to see some purple in my life before I quit tonight. Me too. So my friend, there's purple on the Friend what? Friend. Oh. You're a marijuana smoker. Oh, uh, why are you doing this? Uh, it's technically 12.30, so I'll give it one last shot. This is for the gold. This is for the, g the game. Or whatever color comes after purple. Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> Zen. Okay. I can get popped right here. <laughs> Oh, the lightning bolt right at the start. I need my fish right there. Yeah, that's yeah, how they are. Yeah, that's on clock now. Look good. Don't jinx me. Okay, that's portable. Put some what up? Oh. I'm holding B. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> well, that was a good last round. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This has been fun. We shall rechallenge this again. It will be on YouTube under my new playlist for challenges. If I knew a video editor, if Jay could do it, I would just cut it down to like 10 minutes and call it good because so many of these videos would be better on YouTube. Just cut down. But yeah, this has been good. We shall rechallenge. Um, Wish me luck, and as the Japanese say, fight, because it means, like, go get them and stuff. <laughs> as the Japanese say, fucking stupid Americans. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, the, the title, like, isn't just fighting balloons. It's also, like, a, a way to be, like, get into that cultural thing of just fight, because fight on, beat balloon trip, and and be awesome, and fight -o. yes, fight Because right. everything has to end in a vowel. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go eat something. Um, I'm probably gonna play some Final Fantasy XIV tonight. I'm on Dial Diabolos. If you guys wanna come hang out, I'm running around Gridania and all that bullshit, stupid ass game thing. Yeah. Uh, peace out. Thanks for watching. We shall get back to this I again. I love you. Um, <laughs> Oh, sorry. Rock out of water up in heaven and stuff, because, like, this game's awesome and all that. And really sucks that he's gone, but I like this game a lot. I'm going to like this for years to come, and he really liked it, like, well into his presidency days, so. <laughs> he was like, you want to play a hard game? Play balloon fight, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> on Game Center CX, he actually challenged Arno. He went in person to challenge him, and uh, they gave a lot of, like, history and backstory on, on the creation of the game and how he did it himself and all that. And uh, they had a rechallenge because Arno couldn't fucking get to the orange balloons. <laughs> couldn't even get to the orange ones? Couldn't even get to the orange ones. And so they did a rechallenge where um, uh, Iwata said that he made it to purple and he was like, can you do it, Arno? And um, it was like a video challenge thing and he's like, See what's past the red. Okay, that's my goal tonight. And he played for like fucking seven hours, eight hours. People are mapping shit out for him. And he finally got the purple and was like, yes, yes. It was so good. Oh, man. Game Center CX is the best. I would love to do an American version of that starring me because I would do it all the time. Hey, Black Hole Flare, I'm just sending off right now. It's so, like bad timing, bad form. You got to tune in earlier. Or you can watch this on YouTube in tomorrow or something, whenever it's up. Because I'm, I'm, I'm all done on the stream. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This has been great. I've been fighting balloons for so long, and we did it. We did not beat the purples. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Black Hole Flare. We did not beat the purples. Next time. That is our challenge. Next time we will beat those goddamn purples. 
uh, and stuff. Well, um, it'll, it's actually up in the archive on Twitch. Just just watch it from the start as soon as I end it. Um, it'll be right there, ready to go right now. Um, it's probably going to chug for a minute because I have to close a window that usually crashes OBS. So it might not if I click the X. Um, it did not. Sweet. I learned something. Awesome. So yeah, uh, tune in next time where we will probably be playing Super Metroid. Um, and or... What, what's that other one I really wanted to do this week? Um, I didn't want to do Smash Brothers. I wanted to do... Uh, good luck, Jay. You already fucked up the pattern, Jay. You're not going to be able to get them in time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Can you get the pattern? Can you get those first 15? Um, I'm just going to place them there. Okay. Well. Peace out. I do want to do Super Metroid before SGDQ. Um, I did have another game I wanted to do when I remember it. I shall let people know. Uh, until then, see ya. Bye. Thanks for watching. This has been fun. We shall do it again.